Ms. Marker. Hi, my name is Layla Walker. I'm currently a rising senior at El Cerrito High School. And as you know, my main project was the Raspberry Pi Smart Air. It's basically a monitor hooked up to a Raspberry Pi, which is a mini computer that is just blank. It doesn't have an operating system on it and you have to install that yourself. And I chose it because I wanted to, you know, take a deep dive into the software side of engineering and coding more specifically with an external source because I have experience coding, but I don't deal with web pages or separate files. So um, I have a time lapse of my smart mirror. It's not very active, but um, here it is, hold on. Sorry, so as you can see, the weather is in the top left corner that um, uses an API, which is a website that only returns information rather than having a display or anything. It only returns specific information that you're looking for. And in the top right corner is the time that also uses an API, the clock. And then at the bottom, there's a news tab, which also uses an API and it changes according to the headlines. And yeah, so below the weather API, well, for the weather API originally, the toolkit I used for the smart mirror, it didn't work. So I had to go in and switch out which website it was gonna use for the smart mirror. And that took a while. I'd say it was really challenging because um, I had no experience working with stuff like this. So I kind of had to go in and start from scratch basically and um, figure out how to access certain variables within the information that are returned. And I learned a lot actually, specifically dealing with JSON objects, arrays and um, coding in Python. I've, I've hardly done any of that, so. Yeah, and the smart mirror works by using the tiny computer, the Raspberry Pi, in order to display that information on a window. So the window is just black as you've seen with white text over it. And then the purpose is to make that take up the entire screen so that you can put it behind a frame with a mirror in front of it. So, yeah, and it's connected to the monitor with an HDMI cable so that you can see what's going on. And um, the most challenging part of this project was the was working with that API, having to replace it and kind of learn as I was going along what I was doing. And a whole lot of research went into that as well. It was pretty difficult to figure out what some of the problems were specifically while also turning it into a learning experience. So um, a modification I did start working on over the past few days was putting a Gmail tab on the left, on the mid left side of the mirror. What I wanted it to do was display my most, my three most recent emails. And for that, I also had to start from scratch, try to work in the Gmail API into my code and that also took a while. It's not exactly done yet, but I'm pretty close. So once I get there, I just plan to put it onto my mirror, update the code, and then hang it on my wall. So after the project, I'd have to say that, um, that the research that goes into this is pretty difficult, I must say, and that it can be very time consuming, but I've learned to persevere. So that's what I've taken away from this experience. Thank you, do you have any questions?